Hello, we're going to be talking about percentages. Percentage questions test your ability to change a value by a certain percentage. In order to succeed on these questions, you've got to make sure that you do your percentage adjustments one at a time. Remember that if a quantity is increased or decreased multiple times by different percentages, you can't add those percentages. So let's just hit that again. Never add percentages. What I mean by that is if, if I gave you some, um, like $100 and it went up by 20% um, and then down by 20%, do not add 20 and subtract 20 and say, oh, I'm back at $100. In that example, if you raised $100 by 20%, it'd be at 120. And if you reduced 120 by 20%, you'd be reducing it by 24. You'd actually be back at 96 or you'd be down 4%. So you cannot simply add and subtract 10%. Okay? And in this example, uh, so in this example, I want you to start from 100. The key to percentage questions is, is if there isn't a number to start with, use the number 100, because it will make it easy for you to calculate the final result without doing one final unnecessary step. So here we have, in order to probably determine the final percentage value of a stock that went up 10% on Monday and 10% down on Tuesday, let's start with 100 bucks. We raise it by 10% on Monday, that would take it up to 110. And if you want to multiply by 0.1 and add it to 100, that's fine. You can also multiply by 1.1. The 1 gives you your 100%. The 0.1 gives you the additional 10%. So that takes us to 110. Now we need to apply a 10% decrease. So again, we can multiply by 110 by 0.1 and subtract 11. Or we can multiply by 0.9, understanding that we have 90% left. 110 times 0.9 yields 99. So even though we went up 10% one day and down 10% the other day, we're actually down to $99, or 99% of our original value. Another thing that the SAT will try to trick you on is to try to make you confuse percent change with change. Percent change is not the same thing as change. If you go up from 5 to 10, the change is 5. The percent change is actually 5 over what you started with, 5 or 100%. So when you're trying to do percent change, it's always the change over the starting value. In this example, we have Tom was 5 feet at 13 and 6 feet at 18. What's his percent change? Well, if he was 5 feet at 13 and 6 feet at 18, he grew 1 foot. But the starting value was 5, so the percent change is 1 over 5, or 20%. One last thing to not confuse, percent and degrees are not the same thing in a circle. A circle has 360 degrees, but only 100%. So if you're dealing with pie graphs, and we mentioned this in statistical figures as well, do not confuse the two. Often the SAT will give you percentages, ask you for degrees, give you degrees, and ask you for percentages. If you're trying to make a conversion, make sure you use a conversion percent over 100 equals degrees over 360. So let's do an example. What percent of a circle is re represented by 90 degrees? So what we're going to do is we're going to say 90 over 100, or sorry, 90 over 360 is equal to x over 100 and solve. And we'll solve for x is going to be 25% or a quarter of the circle, which is easy to see visually if you draw out a 90 degrees of a circle.